A grocery store wanting to come to Frankfurt will not receive a tax break from the city. Tonight, the city council voted against it. News 18's Brittany Tyner reports the tax abatement for a retail business got voted down 5 to 2. Brittany, why was the majority of the council against the tax break for the grocery store? Well, Dan, it was brought up at tonight's meeting that a grocery store is a retail business, and some council members were concerned that other retail businesses in town never received any tax abatements. Ruler Foods is a subsidiary. Um, subsidiary of Kroger. As News 18 reported last week, the discounted grocery store wants to build off Hoke Avenue, where a Kmart once stood. Before the retail business could ask the city council for a seven-year tax abatement to phase in their property taxes, the council had to vote a third and final time to designate the area as an economic revitalization area. Councilman Eric Woods says he supported the economic revitalization area on its first two votes, but tonight was a different story. He says the council was told the area was blighted. He says after some research of his own, he, had, he has to disagree. That's why he abstained his vote on whether or not to designate the area as an economic revitalization area, which the council passed 6-0. to zero. Since his family has owned Scholz's IGA for years, he says it was the right thing to do. I did not want to stand in the way of Ruler Foods' ability to come to this council with their uh, plea for tax abatements. So that was the reason for my abstention that, uh, uh, quite frankly, because I do work at another grocery store in town, I did not want to stand in the way of that procedure. The council then voted down the tax abatement 5-2, to two, with Councilman Woods being one of the five to say no. Mayor Chris McBarn says only time will tell if Ruler Foods still decides to come to Frankfurt.